Now the model is the second item. Well, the model is found here. This is the the letters MTG. So we can't just use the left command like we did for the manufacturer. So we're going to use a new item called mid command. So in this case, we have an, a Ford Mustang. MTG stands for Mustang. So let's uh, let's pull out some letters. Well, to pull out the manufacturer's make, we use the first two letters, and so we use the left command. Well, we want to pull something out of the middle of the text, so this one is called the mid command, M-I-D. It says here that it's going to return the characters from the middle of a text string, given a starting position and the length. So, let's put a parenthesis. The first item that it's looking for is the text, so we'll click here and then a comma. The start number. Where does this M start? That's at position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it starts at position 5 in the string and then a comma. How many characters do we need? Well, these all have three characters in each of the model num numbers. Okay, close parentheses and enter. And now we see MTG. So let's fill these down a ways and you can see that it's pulling out other items. FCS, that must stand for Ford Focus. And then a General Motors CMR, an SLV. Let's see what some of these others are. Scrolling all the way to the bottom and filling down, you can see that we have some of these others. Now the meaning of all these models can be interpreted as follows. MTG is for Mustang. FSC is for Focus, CMR is a Camaro, SLV is a Silverado, a Toyota Camry and a Toyota Corolla are next, and let's see, a Civic, looks like a Honda Civic, a Honda Odyssey, and what's next here, a PT Cruiser, a Chrysler Caravan, and then the Honda Elantra, so these are all different models. So at the bottom here, we were going to do the exact same process of creating a lookup table. So I'm going to copy down all of these manufacturer model names and then put the real name next to them. Okay, I'm finished with typing in all of these car models and their full name. Remember, a V lookup table only works if it's alphabetized. So I'm going to highlight these squares, choose sort, and sort by the first column which is D. Click OK. And so now the, this line is in alphabetical order. Once we have that done we can create a lookup value. So I'm going to use the exact same lookup as my model. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. It doesn't seem to be working right. It says Elantra is the first item what's going on. I'll double click here to find out. We're looking for D56 through E61. Well, that's almost there. The only problem is this table's longer, so I'm going to extend this one all the way to the bottom, and press enter, and go back to the top. Now it looks like it's finding Mustang correctly. Since the other one was created with the absolute references. We have the dollar signs in the in the top. It seems to be working right, so we'll fill down and we'll have the model name for each of these cars. Almost there. Let's open this a little light wider. We have an error down here. What's going on? This one says not accessible or not available. What's wrong with this? We have a zero OD. Somebody in their stupidity typed in a zero instead of an O back at the beginning here. So let's fix that. Up here at the top we have the, the HO and then the year. We have an extra zero in there. So let's delete that zero and press enter. And now it appears that that typo was fixed. So when you get text from another company, sometimes you have to realize that people didn't enter the data correctly. Lastly, let's put in the manufacturer year. This is going to use the 
mid command again. We're going to pull out the year from this square. Put a comma. It's going to start at position 3. And we're going to take two text items, two letters. And we get 0, 06. That one seems a little simpler. So we'll scroll that down. And now we'll pull out just the year, a two digit year, for each of these cars. Now we need a formula to calculate the age. How old is our car? Well, let's put in an equal sign. What would you do? Given that I'm creating this spreadsheet in the year 2014, I'm just going to take 14 and subtract the years that come before and press enter. And it says 8. So a 2006 car is 8 years old. Seems to work. Let's see what happens when I fill down. Most of the time it works, except for here. What's this? It says there's a problem with it. Now if you look closely at this, this is an 06. It's literally an 06. We want 06. So once more, somebody thought that it was an 06, and in the database they put a O, a letter O in here. So let's delete that O and put in a 0. And so that fixes that value. The same happened here. Let's go back to this row 15. I'm deleting the O and I'm retyping a 0. Let's continue to fill down and see what other errors might show up. Oops, there's another one. Another value that says it cannot be read. So let's go to here. H O and then a 0, 05. So we've had to do some corrections to our data. Now this formula is very simple. It's actually too simple. This car is negative 84 years old. Where did that come from? Well that was called the Y2K bug where computers just held two digits for every year. It worked until we switched over to the year 2000. So a 98 is actually 16 years old. And it gives us a negative 84. That's because it's taking the formula 14 minus the value in cell B9, or F19. Well, it's a correct number according to the computer, but it doesn't serve our purposes. We want to make sure that the number comes out correctly. So let's readjust our formula. Let's erase this one. And I'm going to ask a question. If if the difference between 14 minus this gets less than 0, then I want a formula for all those 90s and 80s cars. Well, I just simply say I'll take 100 minus the year. And that'll get us the distance between 98 to 2000. That would be about 2. And then I'm going to add 14 to get to our current value. Otherwise, we'll just use the previous formula. We'll say 14 minus this here. And so now we have two different cases. For those that are less than 2000 and those that are greater than 2000. If I press enter, I still get the same results for the first. And let's scroll to the bottom and see what happens. And so sometimes a simple calculation needs to have a few cases. So yeah, this is correct now. A 1999 car in the year 2014 is 15 years old. So the formula seems to work. Now let's go over to this formula, miles per year. Well, that should be pretty simple, at least at first glance. We want to say this equals the total miles divided by the years driven, which is the age of the car. And so that shows 50, uh, 5,000 miles. Let's fill this down. And let's see if it works. Almost all of them work. There's a few errors. There's an error. It says divide by zero. Why in the world are we getting that error? That's because over here in the age, it says this car is zero years old. It was made in 2014. Is it really zero years old? 
Well, it's less than a year old, but it's not zero. So it's probably six months old, maybe three months old. Let's make a slight adjustment to our formula. If I double click on this formula, you'll see that I'm dividing eight, the age, divided by the miles. Well, the age in some of these was zero. We can't really divide by zero. And this car really is not exactly eight years old. It might be eight years and six months. Because a car that is zero years old really has a few months already on it. So let's just round a little bit. Let's, let's, let's add a little bit of a, of a number. Well, let's see. We want to add something to G2. So I'm going to have to put a parentheses before G2 and add 0.5. So let's add, let's add a decimal 0.5 so that that year is really a year and six months. Why parentheses? Well, you should know from your order of operations in your algebra class that you're supposed to add and subtract after you divide and multiply. And so we want to make sure that we add first and then divide. So that's why the parentheses are there. If I press enter and then fill this formula down, we should get better results. So the mileage calculation is based on the age plus six months and we have no divide by zero errors. Let's format these two columns. They could probably use some commas to make them look more like miles. It's easier to see when you have thousands if you have a comma in there. Thank <laughs> you.